Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I think this is the first sit down video I've done since the new year, so I just want to wish you all a happy new year and I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Today's video is going to be my what I got for Christmas video. So I've got a basket here where I've put everything in and I think I'm just gonna go through it as I pull it out and I'll tell you who it's off rather than do like a group of people um, as I go because it's all mixed together. The first thing that I come to is actually from my auntie who we went to her house for Christmas Day and she got us all a gift and she got me and my sisters the Soap and Glory Bright and Bubbly Soap and Glory box and this has got in it the hand food, the scrub of your life, the clean on me shower gel, the righteous butter and then the shower puff as well so basically all of the Soap and Glory essentials that you would need. A couple of presents from my sister-in-law I think she told me that this was from America and it's an Ellie Ellie mug I think um, and I really didn't know what to expect um, but it's so cute. It's a little mug. It says Baker's gonna bake, 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 bake and it's got a cupcake on it, a piece of cake and a cookie. The next thing she got me was a measuring jug slash cooking jug, mixing jug and it actually matches. If you remember the casserole dish that I bought and the little tray that I bought quite a while ago from HomeSense, it matches that. I've got a mixing bowl in it as well and it's just a little jug. It's pink, it's got little hearts on it and this is just perfect. In my stocking from Thomas I asked for a pom-pom from New Look, a particular one, and it was this grey one with the gold clasp. Everybody has these and I think I'm a bit late to the bandwagon. This was quite a cute little fun thing for my stocking and I think, I don't know, I think I'm going to put it on my keys. Then a present from my mum and she got me a pair of slippers which like she couldn't have chosen a more perfect pair of slippers for me. They are a bit glamorous and I don't mind having like old lady cosy slippers. They're from River Island and they are like mink, is that the right colour? Um, the fluff and then they've got rose gold little bows and a rose gold outer, which you all know, anything rose gold, I'm so massive on that trend. I can't help it, I just think it's really pretty. They're just so cosy. I put them on for a little bit on Christmas day um, and they're really, really warm and cosy. Lottie, my sister, got me a pair of Joni jeans, which I asked for, a pair of the black ones because they're my favorite jean, but they go grey in the wash so quickly, like they go streaky and it's so annoying because they fit beautifully they're so comfy but I just think the quality could be a little bit better and I have had cheaper ones from like Primark and stuff but I thought seeing as it was Christmas I would ask for a pair of my favourite ones because I do really like these ones and they're from Topshop. This is from Tom's grandma and she actually gave us some money for Christmas and I used it to purchase this which is something that I had my eye on for a really long time and it's a diary and this is by the company Kiki K. This is their obviously the 2016 diary. It's baby blue with polka dot and then it's got rose gold writing on the front so it says 2016 make it yours this page is just literally for notes and they have like cute little quotes on every single page so you can do anything you set your mind to every so often they've got like a break in the pages that are just pretty um, and this one says do something today that your future self will thank you for and for blog posts as well I think that this will be really good for like backgrounds. When I opened it I was just like oh <laughs> I don't want to use it it's so pretty. I got one fragrance this year and this one was from Tom's dad and it's one that I asked for and this is the Guerlain Paris Le Petite Robe Noir and this I asked for because um, I heard somebody say that they wore it and that it smelt like Cherry Bakewells which I really like and then every time that I've smelt it in store I really liked it but it is quite a luxurious item it's quite an expensive perfume so I thought that it it was something that I could ask for for Christmas. I think it's the most beautiful packaging. It's quite a very, it's a very strong smell. Um, it's definitely, I would say I would definitely wear this more in the evenings than during the day. I'll do my presents that I got from Tom's mum next and she got me a book which is by John Green. It's um, Looking for Alaska I think. I've not included it but she got me that. And then um, also this mouse which is by the company called Mayleg which if I didn't know that this was the company that made these. I've seen them before but they are so beautiful. They're basically little mice and they make little cute little cute things. So this is the matchbox and it says the P Rack Match Factory best quality safety matches and then when you push it up it's got a little mouse asleep in bed 
how adorable is that you get a little blanket and then the mice she got me the one with the little mint green skirt and the stripy top and stripy tights and then it's got a little pillow and a little bed it's just adorable Scylla also got me Tom's mum um, something that I've had my eye on for so long that you will have seen if you've seen one of my wish list posts that this is what I asked for uh, well not that I asked for but that I had on my wish list and she saw that and it's the Olivia it's an Olivia Burton watch I was honestly so surprised to receive this because it's something that I'd had my eye on for a long time I didn't ask for it because it's quite expensive um, and I just thought it was one of them things that eventually I might get round to having um, so it comes in a beautiful box like this very very luxurious it feels such high quality and then I have worn this and um, I put it on as soon as I opened it but I thought I'd put it back in the box to show you so it is the mint green strap with the rose gold face and this is an Olivia Burton watch as I said it's just so gorgeous I think they're really pretty and girly watches I for a long time really didn't like wearing watches because I felt like it made my wrists look quite manly and my hands look manly and I think it was just something that I wasn't used to but since um I bought like a cheap one from New Look if you remember that one it had stars on it and it was rose gold again um and that was like £12 and I thought if I wore that and got used to that then eventually I would probably invest in like a proper watch um, but she beat me to it so I absolutely love it I think it's just a really nice accessory and I just love it. A couple more presents for my mum and she got me some things from Kiko and the first thing is one of their metallic shine eyeshadows which I've seen every time I've gone into the shop but I've never bought one and um, when I opened this I said to her that she's literally chosen the colour that I would have chosen myself um, and it is the shade 02 and it's really dinky cute packaging. She knows how much I love my cream eyeshadows to use as a base and on their own and it's this very metallic-y purpley pink colour. It's gorgeous and and you know how much I love wearing like purpley pinks on my eyes so I can't wait to try this and give you all a little review on it because that's something that I've never tried from Kiko are their cream eyeshadow so I was very happy to receive that one and then she also got me the Rebel Romantic Mirror which comes in the most beautiful packaging and I just thought this was a really nice gift like a really thoughtful gift because she knows that I love rose gold I love beauty but this is just something a little bit different so it comes in a nice rose gold pouch like this there's a very rose gold heavy theme in this video isn't there um, and then the mirror looks like this it's rose gold again um, and then it just opens with the clasp and I think yeah it's um, a magnifying mirror at the bottom and then normal at the top so this will definitely come in handy I use my portable take around mirrors every single day but I think because it comes in a pouch I might keep this one in my handbag another present of Thomas for my stock image is a little bit I didn't know whether to put it in or not but it's one of the most thoughtful presents that he's ever bought me and it's from Starbucks and it's the caramel flavour syrup because he knows how much I love my caramel lattes and I just thought this was so adorable that he'd gone in and bought me this because I just it's I think little personal gifts like that like little personal touches it just shows how much somebody knows you and I just thought this was really sweet it is really sweet it's caramel syrup <laughs> is really cheesy. Another couple of presents from one of my other sisters who is the second one down to me and um, she bought me the Radio Live Lounge, BBC Radio 1 Live Lounge CD for 2015 which I haven't got with me because it's been in my car, I've listened to it every single day that I've been in the car since she bought it me. She got me a couple of beauty bits which one of them I asked for and one of them I didn't and I think, I wish I'd put it on today actually, but um she literally couldn't have chosen any better so she bought me the bourgeois rouge edition velvet little um lip stain in the shade nudist which i really like and i felt really sorry for her on christmas morning because i think she was really scared to give me some presents because she got me a lush body bar as well she was like i don't know if you like lush um and then she'd ordered me a book that i asked for but it hadn't arrived it still hasn't arrived and bless her i think she was just really like annoyed not annoyed but um I don't know but she knows that I love her and I love everything she got me um so she also got me the MAC eyeshadow oh that was another thing that she got me the one that's in the individual pot rather than in the pan which is completely fine because I'll use it regardless um but I think she was a bit upset about that as well but she did perfectly and it's in the shade club this is what one that I asked for it's a satin finish and 
It's, I'm probably going to use this in a tutorial really soon because it's gorgeous, but it's like a greeny, reddy, browny, bluey eyeshadow. It's so gorgeous like it's got so many different tones to it and I can't believe that I haven't had this already it's just I've had my eye on it for so long it's very similar to the blue brown pigment from MAC and um, which I love it's one of my favorite eyeshadows to wear and then my other sister totally completely spoiled me and we always say we always start off with a budget at Christmas and then I think gradually we kind of always go over it a little bit and um, so it's quite it's quite nice because we always end up spending the same on each other but it's always a little bit crazy because it's always more than we like set out to spend. Um, the first thing that she got me was the YSL mascara in it's the mascara volume FA faux sills. Oh here it goes says it in English. The luxurious mascara for a false last lash effect and this is the black one. I asked for this after seeing it on Pixie Woo's videos. I think it's Sam's like favourite mascara and her eyelashes always look amazing. So I asked Emma for this one. I don't ever think I've used a YSL mascara before so I'm so excited to try this because everybody says that they're amazing. So that's a really luxurious exciting present that she got me there and then she also got me something that I asked for but she originally said that she couldn't get hold of it and I think it was really hard for her to track down but she got it in the end. This is the MAC palette and it's the Burgundy Times 9 palette so it's an eyeshadow palette and I wanted this because I think it's just perfect for traveling and it's got some of my the shades that are in it that I've already got are some of my favorite MAC eyeshadows anyway and then obviously it's got limited edition ones in there and it basically looks like this. I really like wearing these kind of shades on my eyes um, and they're just it's got antiqued in it and Oh, I just can't wait to use this and I think it's perfect for traveling because you could literally do so many different looks with this and I really like it. I was really, really excited when I opened that one. I was excited to open everything. And then also from my mom, she got me a pair of Converse. These I actually asked for. These are the grey leather Converse, which I'd seen on somebody's blog, I think. I can't remember whose. It was like just when I was scrolling through. So this is what they look like. I wear Converse religiously. Like they are my go-to everyday shoe. Um, and these are like all leather grey here and then white here and I think the sole's a little bit more chunky than the usual one it looks that way anyway I'm not sure grey laces and I really want to style these I've got an idea for a styling post and how I want to wear them I just need to find the other bits and pieces that I want to put them with um, but I can't wait to wear these I think they're really really nice and they're just a little bit different from the usual converse and then um, the last few bits from my mum um, was actually something that her and Thomas kind of did together so these are from my mum and Thomas combined and it is the um, something that I found out about maybe like a week before Christmas and I literally like said to Thomas if you've not got me everything yet please put this on your list because I would really really like it and it is the NARS refillable palette that they've just come out with. I asked for the small one because I thought that it would be easier to travel with because I'm more likely to use this to travel with because you can fit so many different things in it and the large one was just a little bit too big so I haven't even opened this yet. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's quite a weird, it feels almost cardboard the outer and then inside it is a magnetic palette so it looks like this really nice little itty bitty size and then to go in that I they bought me a few things and the only thing that I suggested was you probably all know my favorite bronzing powder ever they all come in like little individual boxes like this and the similar oh no <laughs> they're similar to the MAC refillable palettes and I asked for the NARS Laguna bronzer so they come in like little um, plastic packaging and then this is the bronzer so this is Laguna and then I'm going to pop it in the palette now um, so it's magnetic and then you just pop it in like this so that's that and then the other couple of things that they chose for me which were absolutely beautiful um, are a blusher and this is in the shade Sin which I've had my eye on for quite a while from NARS but it's just, they're just something so luxury that I just don't, I can't, I just can't buy it myself. It's just, you know, it's just something that's a little bit more special and it's a gorgeous Christmas present. And this again comes in a little magnetic pan and 
This one is like a purpley toned, quite a nice warm colour and it's got little specks of gold shimmer in it. Um, so again, I'm just going to pop that in my palette in like no order. I like it to look neat though. Um, so that's there. And then the last thing that they got me to put in it is a eyeshadow duo and I've never owned an eyeshadow, any eyeshadows from NARS before so I'm really excited to try these. Again, if you would like to see these in a tutorial, let me know. But this duo is the, I'm not actually sure, Kuala Lumpur and you get a gorgeous nudish pink and also a purpley toned eyeshadow in here. I've already got those in there and there's plenty of room for other little bits and pieces that I can build up over time and I just think it's a really good idea. I'm so pleased that NARS have come out with something like this because I just think it's genius. So last but not least, a few bits from Thomas and he did me an amazing stocking this year and he put a real lot of thought into the presents that he bought me. He did amazingly and I feel so lucky. The the main thing that I've got to show you that's actually a physical present is some, the only thing that I asked for off him and this is a new camera lens which I'm not using at the moment, I'm going to use it when we get into the new house and I can really make a proper difference with my videos, I've got all my lights back and my proper background so I don't want to use it just yet but this is the Canon Pancake lens so it's a 40mm lens and it's just supposed to, I think it'll just make my videos a lot crisper and clearer and it obviously is a little bit of a wider lens as well. Um, I'm really excited to give this a try. I know a few YouTubers that I watch use this and I really like the look of their videos so I was really really happy to have that. He also got me the most adorable little card, a uh, Christmas card and he'd written lovely words in it and then at the bottom he'd put um, P.S. Would you like to go to Mary Poppins with me? I've literally wanted to see that for so long. I wanted to see it when it was on at the West End a few years ago but it just, we just never went, it just never happened. So now that it's touring, it just seems perfect. And he got me that for Christmas. And then the most special thing, um, which was such a massive surprise, and I don't even know how I can tell you this to do it justice because I can't show it you physically yet. Um, but basically on Christmas morning, we woke up here and we took took our stockings round to my mum's. Before we went to my mum's, um, he made a stop at the new house, which is on the way. And he went in first and then came back and got me in because he told me that one of my presents was there. And then he told me that I had to go in and he took me upstairs and he took me to the room that's gonna be my office. And there was a big red bow on the door. I have taken pictures, so I'll probably do a blog post on it or something like that to show you. So he'd put a big red bow on the door and then when I opened the door, um, he'd got my, I started crying straight away um, because he'd basically, last time I saw that room, the floor the floorboards weren't stained, there was no paint on the walls. I think me and my sister had undercoated it, but th that was it. Um, and he'd basically finished the whole room. He'd painted all the walls white, or cream, and he'd stained the floor. And then he'd been round to my granddad's where a lot of our furniture is, and he'd built, bought my desk that I had when we were in Southport, and he'd put that in the room for me. And on the desk, there were like candles that he'd been and bought, and some of my little bits from home. He'd bought me two Gemma Kid makeup artistry books, which he'd put on the um, on the desk. It makes me really like emotional now thinking about it because it's honestly the most thoughtful thing that he could have done and um he'd also got me he'd also got our little chair that's got the spots on which you might remember from Southport and he'd put that in the corner and then when I turned around there was a new piece of furniture in the corner which I'd never seen before but it's something that I've wanted for so long and he knew that it was something that I wanted for the new house for my office and it is a day bed um, it's one from Ikea and it's basically a double guest bed that, that folds out into a double bed but when it's just normal it's a single bed and you can obviously use it as a sofa to sit on things like that it's got three huge drawers underneath it for storage but the main thing I wanted it for is because I want it for the background of my videos so that room I want to have a couple of different backgrounds that I can use for my videos and obviously on the day bed I want like cushions behind it maybe some fairy lights even though I, they are a bit stereotypical aren't they but they look pretty I think they look pretty anyway um and he just put so much thought into it and so much hard work and the week before Christmas I didn't really see him he was always around at the new house and that's what he'd been doing I honestly 
it was just he'd bought like the bedding and the cushions for the day bed and it just looked perfect and he'd literally done it how I would have done it um which I think he needs even more brownie points for and lots and lots of squishes and snuggles because it, it was just amazing and it was the perfect start to our Christmas day so I hope you had a lovely Christmas time I will see you on Sunday with my next video so thank you all for watching please please subscribe if you liked this video and I will see you all very soon bye